Today we will be praying against blocking spirits in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Many of us have faced times in our life and maybe this is a point where you're going through this now where everything started going down a direction and then it almost feels stuck and the enemy places spirits setback failure he places curses on situations he gets people to speak against what's moving forward so that it would stop or be halted. We see also in the book of Daniel, where Daniel, he set out to fast and to pray for the nation of Israel. And an angel came to Daniel and said, as soon as you set your heart to pray, humbled yourself before the Lord. Michael, the archangel, said, I was sent out. But, he said, he was stuck. He got held up for 21 days at war against the prince of Persia the spiritual principality of Persia, Michael had to battle. He had come, Michael was sent out because it says in the book of Daniel, he said, I have come because of your words. And he was sent out because Daniel prayed. And so we see in the book of Daniel that sometimes when we start to pray, we have to persist in prayer. The Bible says the fervent, effectual prayer, the continual prayer in another translation, done in fervency, it's powerful and it's effective. And in the book of Daniel, we see there was a spirit blocking the answer that was sent from God. God had given Michael, the archangel, a message to deliver to Daniel, but he was held up for 21 days. During that 21 days, Daniel stayed fervent, effectual. He had a heart posture where he had humbled himself before the Lord and stayed continual in prayer and fasting. He said, I took nothing pleasant unto my mouth. And so maybe this is something you're going through in this season where the enemy's trying to block what God is trying to bring through and just know God is a God of breakthrough and the Bible says you're more than a conqueror in Christ and so we want to pray against these spirits we want to position ourselves like Daniel position our heart before the Lord and know this, by faith, the Lord hears your prayers. The Bible says we come to him, we pray to him. He hears us and he listens. And if we know that he hears us, we know we have every petition that we ask of him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us in another verse. Hallelujah. The Lord hears us just like he heard Daniel. And he sends his angels, according to Psalms 91, charge over us. He sends out angels, ministering spirits. It says, 
they lift us up in their hands that we don't even strike our feet against the stone. It is the Lord that goes before you. The Lord goes before you and he makes every crookedness of your path, every waveriness of your path. He makes those paths straight. The Bible says he'll lead you down the right path. God leads us, you and me, down these right paths for his name's sake. It says, even when we walk through the valleys, the low places, he's with us, the hard times. He's a God of the mountains and a God of the valleys. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. His rod and his staff, they comfort us. He gives us that correction. The rod and the staff. These are tools that a good shepherd would use. And as certain sheep began to veer from the path, this is how they would bring them on, right back on the, on the right path. It was correction and reproof. The Lord disciplines those he loves. He's, he allows us sometimes to see these other paths. He doesn't allow us to be comfortable. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for right paths for each of us. In the scripture, it says, you open doors that no man can shut. I pray you begin to open doors, Father, in our life that no man can shut. Oh, God of heaven's armies, we ask that you rise up for us, defend us, protect us. There's no one like you to help us, to help the powerless against the mighty. It's in your name, Lord, we come against the vast armies. Jesus told Peter, he asked Peter, he said, Peter, who do you say that I am? He said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And God said, upon this rock of revelation, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And I've given you the keys to the kingdom that anything you bind on earth is bound in the heavens, that anything you loose on earth is loosed in the heavenly realms. And today we bind every spirit of setback, every spirit of failure, every hindering spirit, every blocking spirit, every spirit that would try to abort God's destiny for your life, for my life, every spirit that would try to hinder the purposes and value that God has for us in this season. We rebuke it as a family, off of our life, off of our family, off of our finances. We thank you that we are a repairer of the breach, that our God is a God of breakthrough, that he's mighty for tearing down strongholds, for casting down arguments, that every lie of darkness, Lord, we come out of agreement with failure. We come out of agreement with poverty. We come out of agreement with lack. We come into agreement with the word of God that says we are all sufficient in all things and we will always abound continually unto every good work ever increasing in the knowledge of God for the Lord strengthens us each day. He's strengthening you today. He's strengthening me today. We stand fully equipped, strengthened by the Lord for the Lord is our strength. And by the power of the word of God, we come against every blocking, hindering spirit. And Father, I pray that the spirit that would try to hinder your purposes, Lord, would come to failure on their mission. I thank you for a mighty victory for the kingdom of God. We praise the Lord for victory is in the name of the Lord. 
We praise our God. For in your name, Lord, there's a mighty victory. So we thank you for the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke the devourer over our lives for the namesake of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of locusts that would try to destroy the harvest before it bears fruit. Every canker worm. Lord, we crush these evil insects that would try to prevent the purposes of God for our life. We tread on the lion and the cobra, on the fierce lion and the serpent. We trotten underfoot, for we make the Lord our refuge and even the Most High our dwelling. We say no disaster will come near ourselves or our brothers or our sisters. In Jesus' name, no harm will come near us, no disaster near our homes, for the Lord sends out angels even today like he sent out for Daniel. Angels charge over us. They keep us in all of our ways. They take us into the lands that God has destined for our life. The places and the people that the Lord has intended for us to meet, even in marriages, for those that are single, even in relationships, for those that have a business, and God has positioned certain people for you to come into business with business relationships may the devil be loosed from every demonic relationship and may the plans he may he come off of every blocking spirit may he come off of these relationships may he be removed from these plans we bind the work of the devil and we loose them off of the plans off of the plans off of the plans in Jesus name we thank you for the victory is in Christ by faith we receive the victory of God the promise of God the purpose of God for our life for our family for our businesses for our relationships every hindering setback spirit over the marriage we break it off of the marriages in Jesus name the Lord came because of Daniel's words. And Father, we ask, Lord, come because of our words. Hear our cries. Hear our prayers. Deliver us in our distress. Save us in our time of need. We bind every demonic plan of the enemy off of our life. Off of our life. Off of your people. For the victories is the Lord. There was a story I heard the other day where there was a woman, a testimony, and she was kidnapped by ISIS. God had supernaturally delivered her in many powerful ways. And a terrorist came to her and said, I'm supposed to hate you. And I, you're my enemy. But he said, he lit a candle and he put her name on it. And she said, why did you light this candle and put my name on it? And he said, because even in this dark place, you're a light. And even to your enemies and in this terrible place where you're in captivity, you shine. Meanwhile, her mother, three hours a day, was meeting in a home with her church family. And she said, her mother said, every time they came in, we, they would all sit together, sit down, and they would start to cry. And she said, nobody's allowed to cry. She said, for the next three hours, we're going to praise the Lord. We're going to give him thanks for the victory. She said she aggressively told her, her friends. She said, I don't want any of you to think one negative thought about this situation. This is a good situation. This is a victory from God. And every day while she was in captivity, three hours, 
They praise and worship the Lord for victory. And no harm came near her, no disaster. And even in an ugly place, she was a light that shined. And she was released out of captivity. And she was the help for other people around her. Hallelujah. For our God is a God of breakthrough. And today we give the Lord victory. We say the Lord is victorious and strong. Every spirit that would block our destiny, our purpose, every spirit that's trying to hinder our finances, that's trying to set back our relationships or our marriage, that's trying to block our destiny. We say the Lord is victorious and strong. He has delivered us. He has set us free from on the bondage and captivity of Satan. We rejoice in the Lord and do good. We lean also on his faithfulness for he has given us the desires of our heart. He's the one that goes before us. He prepares for us a table in the presence of our enemies that even in the darkest places we will shine and even in the place where it may feel like things aren't moving forward. We know God is in the process of working all things together for our good and using every situation to strengthen us with all his might and his power. And as we wait upon the Lord, he renews our strength. We mount up on wings as eagles. We run and don't grow weary. We walk and not faint. For these are our promises, the promises to us who wait. We grab a hold of every promise that the Lord has given us of all sufficiency in our marriage, in our finances, in our home, in our ministry, in the workplace, in every area of our life, in every relationship. The Lord has made us all sufficient in all things that we would continue in every good work. The Lord blesses the works of our hands the fruit of our body, the increase of our herd. He blesses us in our coming and our going. We are blessed today. We are blessed in the city, blessed in the countries. The blessings of the Lord shower upon our life. We receive every good gift. The Lord is destined for us. Every spiritual gift, every natural gift. Lord, we thank you for breakthrough. And today, Lord, we thank you that we break through, that the spirit of setback failure, they're not good enough, and they'll never make their plans happen. For our God is mighty for overcoming and tearing down every stronghold. The Lord fights for us, and he gives us victories. For victories is the Lord's. Vengeance is his. He will repay we set our heart and bow our knee before you and pray to an almighty God, the Lord of heaven's armies, the God that is more than enough, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nishi, Jehovah El Shaddai. You wealth and riches are in his storehouse and his righteousness endures forever. Lord, we thank you for an ever increasing faith. The Lord, even in the hard times, Lord, even in the difficulties of life, we thank you that we shine, that Christ in us, the hope of glory, begins to seep even through our pores, to shine through our emotions, through our thoughts and our words, that the light of the glory of the gospel of Jesus Christ would reveal Christ in us, the hope of glory would be revealed in our life through our words, our actions, our characters, our belief. Lord, that we don't have a dead religion. Some theologists wrote in a book on Time Magazine on the cover, maybe in 1980 something. It said, is God dead? God is not dead. He's alive. He has risen. We have resurrection life on the inside of us. Our God is living. 
Our God is alive. Our God is risen. He's alive in us. And he's the one that works through us. And he fights our battles. The Lord says in the scriptures, you need not fear for I am with you and I am the one that goes before you. I will fight for you. I will deliver you. I will deliver you from your enemies. Lord, we identify every blocking, hindering spirit. And we bow our knee to the Lord and we say, thank you for delivering us from all of our fears, worries, anxieties. We thank you that victory is the Lord's. Just begin to praise the Lord with me, brothers and sisters, for mighty victory. Praise is a supernatural weapon. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for he made the heavens and even the highest heavens and all the starry host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them, the multitudes of heaven worship him. For there's no one like the Lord in all the earth. For when he speaks, it is done. Amen. And we hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm. For our God can be trusted to keep all of his promises. For all the Lord's promises are yes and amen. And they end with a resounding hallelujah. 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 Daniel prayed, he said, the Lord removes kings. He raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise, knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals the deep and the secret things. For the Lord knows what's in the darkness and the light dwells in him. For his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom in his dominion from generation to generation. May all the inhabitants of the earth and every spirit of failure, setback, every blocking spirit be reputed as nothing. For my God does according to his will in the armies of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. For no one can restrain his hand or say to you, what have you done? No one can stop the plans of God. No one can stop the purposes of God. And so today, Father, we come out of alignment with anything by ignorance or lack of knowledge where we've been living in our own purpose. And Father, today we come into alignment with the purpose of God, the will of God. We thank you, Father, for making straight our paths, leading us down these right paths for your name's sake. We thank you that vin victory is the Lord's. All praise be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We put on the full armor of God that we would stand against the schemes of the devil, fully equipped for every good work, The Lord ordains you to be an ambassador for the kingdom of God, decreeing and declaring the plans of God for your life and for your family by faith. Don't believe the lie. Walk in the truth and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And he who the sun sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for the victory that was won today over every blocking spirit. We thank you for the victory of God for our life. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm gonna say just a prayer over you guys. I believe in the Bible it says, blessing and cursing are in the power of the tongue. I believe that verse. And so I bless you today in the name of Jesus. May you be blessed in your coming. 
blessed in your going. May God's blessings follow you down and chase you all the days of your life. I pray no harm come near you. Every spirit of setback, failure, every blocking spirit, we break the power of the enemy over your life. Every lie of the enemy, every curse of the enemy, every evil, Lord, that has been set out against them. We thank you that it's breaking off of their life today for the blessings of God will prevail and every curse be destroyed. Every blessing prevail and every curse be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, your word says that your word that goes forth from your mouth, it won't return void, but will accomplish what you please and it prospers in every area. Lord, in this area right now, I pray, may the word go forth and bring healing to the brokenness. Lord, may the breaches, Lord, be repaired. In Jesus' name, may the Lord bless your life today. We thank you, Lord, for victory over every area of their life today. Finances, relationships, marriages, restoration. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen and amen. We love you guys. 